so at this stage your Oracle software has been installed and the database is created so you want to ensure that you can start and stop your database instance and see the application data. So we're going to manage our Oracle instance using the um, Enterprise Manager Cloud Control. So you can launch the Cloud Control by um, navigating to our inner browser to localhost port 7802. So if you type in this here, and then we're going to log in as the sysman and then the password we gave it. So the the URL is the machine name, the port number, and then dash en, as you can see here. And that will take us straight to the screen here, where we're going to select targets, and then databases, and then we're going to search the list for an ORCL database, and you can see it's already there, so just click on it. From here, we want to navigate to admin, and then initialization parameters. And we're going to create a login for sys um, and sysdba. So if you type in just sys and then give it the same password, just for demo purposes, it's easier just to remember the same password for everything here. And select sysdba from the role drop down. You want to select the tick box save as and then type in ORCL stat underscore sys and then click save. So from the in the next page type in job into the name field and hit go. And then when the job job queue process initialization the parameter appears you want to change the value of it to 15 and then just click save to file or show SQL initially just to see the statement you want to X you want to just hit return and then click apply so next you want to shut down the database and then restart it so in the cloud Control browser, just navigate to Oracle database and then control and start up and down. So under host credentials, select new and we're going to give it a username and password Oracle and then select set as the preferred credential, select the database host, database host credentials. Just click test to make sure it's a success. You should see output confirmed test successful. So, under database credentials, select new and type in username of sys in uppercase. Give it a password. The role is going to be sysdba and check set as preferred credentials and select sysdba database credentials. And then again, hit test to make sure it's successful. So once that's done, you want to hit OK and then click Advanced Options. And from here, we want to start shut down and start it up again. So just click Immediate and then click OK. So our instance is now down. We want to verify that we're not able to connect as the HR user. So we know that the database has been shut down. So back in our our Linux in our terminal, our Linux terminal, you can set the environment variables again with dot or env and orcl. And if we try and connect with the uh, SQL plus hr, we'll see that we're not able to connect. That the Oracle database is no longer available. So we can use the Cloud Control Console to restart the database. So back in our, our Cloud Control browser instance. So in practice, we can also use Enterprise Manager and Database Express to view and change database instance parameters. So 
um, if we log in using the, the port 5500 and then EM login we can log into database express and um, manage our instance from there so you can log in as DBA username assist DBA and once we're in we can go to configuration and then initialization parameters and similar to the cloud control console we can just select job in the search field and search for job queue processes we can also manage our Oracle instance from SQL plus terminal so back on our terminal we can log in to the ORCL database first of all set the environment and the environment settings as usual and then you're going to SQL plus in and assist DBA from here we can control or view the same per initialization parameters that we were just looking at in the database express console so in this case we can just use the command SQL plus in first is assist DBA then we can just run this command show parameter job and this will give us the job queue processes parameter and it's very easy then to alter this this parameter just, we're just doing the same thing only we're using the command line here so we're doing the same as we're doing in the cloud control and database express console so you can use an alter system set command to change this initialization parameter once that's done we can run the same command again to show the change just confirm the change was made so we can also use SQL plus to shut down and restart the database so these simple commands so it shut down immediately with this command and then just a simple startup command so we can use this show parameter command to verify other settings like SGA, max size, DB cache size, and shared pool size. You can also verify the parameter job queue processes, so it should be set to thousands. Let me see it is there, and then we can exit SQL plus from here. So we can also view the alert log using the automatic diagnostic repository command interface this command here ADR CI is very catchy title and then we can just run the command show alert if we choose option 3 this opens the alert file using the VI editor and we can view it from there so we can scroll through this log file to review the phases of the database during startup we can use different VI commands to scroll through it so So if you want to search for a particular line, just type in question mark and then type in the text you're looking for. So in this case, starting Oracle instance, and that will take you to the, the line, the relevant line. So you can exit out of this anyway, you normally would with the Q exclamation mark. And just select Q with the next prompt to quit, and then we can exit out with the simple exit command.